It is an extraordinary morning for SpongeBob. He wakes up even more excited than usual. For today is the day Mr. Krabs announces his appointment for manager of the Krusty Krab 2. And SpongeBob knows in his heart that he is the sponge for the job. There is an added sporing in his step, and the world is a brighter place. He needs to get ready for work, and then it's off to the Krusty Krab. Destiny awaits. Looks like a beautiful day outside. The perfect weather for a promotion. My alarm clock. I tell you, that thing is loud. It scares Gary half to death. That seems perfectly normal. It's jammed. I need something to pry it open with. I had a pet clam in there, but he got out. My special toothbrush, made for only two teeth. It's an ice cube. Hmm, it's kind of shaped like me. It's a spatula, quite useful for flipping Krabby Patties. Shorts, red tie, classic. My clothes, I need them. I'm bashful in the nude. composing the next movement of my latest opus. The theme is unwelcome visits from neighbors. Right, what you know. Opus, huh? What do you want? Bunch, Bob, I'm sorta busy here. I was wondering if I could borrow some of your toothpaste. I'm out and I want to look my best for the grand opening today. I'd love to help you out, SpongeBob. Only I'm not going to. How can you compose a porpoise with the radio on? Oh, but... And the radio give me, uh, ideas. I mean, inspiration. I don't steal my melodies, if that's what you're saying. Maybe I'll turn the radio off for you. Would you like that? I'd do anything to help. Honestly, SpongeBob, I couldn't care less what you do. As long as you do it as far away from here as possible. Is it the opening of the Krusty Krab 2 exciting? I want you to know I plan to thank you in my managerial acceptance speech. Did you happen to that I am showering? Can I please have some toothpaste? 
My breath is getting sort of briny. I noticed that. It's horrible. I weep for those around you. Well, bye for now, Squidward. Oh, you're leaving? My horoscope was right. Today is a day of great joy. Ah, much better. Now Squidward won't be so deaf to the rest of the world. like someone is giving me something. Maybe it's a present. That must be Squidward's new phone number. He sure changes it a lot. I should give him a call sometime. Mr. Manager, sir. Say, Patrick, tonight after my big promotion, let's go out and party till we're purple. I love being purple. Why are you watching a TV that isn't even on? My remote stopped working. You could just get up and turn it on. There's no need to overreact. Patrick, that's my remote. No wonder it doesn't turn your TV on. So, you say this is your remote? Yes. Then what is it doing at my house? That's what I love about you, Patrick. You always ask the really important questions. Exactly. So, um, can I have my remote back? Oh, then I'm gonna have to get up to turn on the TV and go to the kitchen to get more ice for my Kelpsy. Why? 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 This cruelty is unbearable! Well, what if I got you some ice for your Kelpsy? Then you'd only have to get up once. You'd do that for me? No problem, buddy. Getting ice is what friends are for. Except in France. Here you are, buddy. One piece of ice. Hurry up and take it. It's melting. Oh, now wait just a minute. This ice is cold. Uh, yeah. You don't fool me for one second, mister. Oh. Okay. I'll let you off easy this time, seeing as you probably have other things on your mind. But don't let it happen again. Okay, I won't. Here's your remote. Thanks. Think. No dial tone. The phone lines must be down for some reason. Is this you, SpongeBob? <sighs> he could be there listening to the sound of the ocean all day. Who is it? I don't 
don't even think Squidward has teeth. He won't miss this. Aha! That did it! I can't do that. You have got to be kidding. Hooray! My teeth are clean. Now I can go to the Krusty Krab to accept the mantle of manager. I'm ready. Responsibility. 